If you're pissed off that the WWE broke up Enzo and Big Cass, subscribe to this channel. If you're aggravated, if you're annoyed, if you're perplexed about what the WWE did, subscribe to this channel. And if you're happy about it, then subscribe to this channel and then mock all of us. Why WWE? Why'd you have to go break up Cass and Enzo? Why? I watch Raw sometimes. Trying to get back into forcing myself to watching three hours of it with the hope being that there's enough there that can keep me going. And there's not a lot there. So when you have something that's there that helps, that makes the night at least a little bit palpable, I would think you would like to not screw that up. And one of the few things that I actually could tune into Raw and see that actually amused me engaged me a little, entertained me a little, was the shtick of Enzo Amore and Big Cass as a team. How it would usually work. Enzo comes out and says a bunch of stuff on the microphone that gets over. He's charismatic, all of that. You awkwardly wait for Cass to say his scripted lines and hope that he doesn't screw it up too damn bad. And then we spell out soft, S-A-W-F-T, soft. And then everybody's like, eh, and then who cares what the fuck happens after that? At least I got that. At least I got that. But no, leave it to WWE to say, hey, one of our few actual money acts, one of the few acts that really consistently is over with the audience, let's end it, and let's end it in the way that we did way too damn soon. And my question for the WWE is, why did you feel the need to have to do it so quickly? Like, I understand in part that all good things come to an end and nothing can last forever. And at some point in time, you were going to have to split off Cass and let him do his own thing and have Enzo do his own thing, whatever that's going to be. But Christ almighty, you just had scratched the surface of what you could do with these guys as a tag team and did this, in my opinion, way, way too damn soon. Like, if you were in such a hurry and such a feeling of wanting to split up a tag team, then go your asses to SmackDown and split up the fucking New Day for everybody's mercy at this point in time. And yet, you still persist with that suspect-ass shtick. Here are two guys actually trying to act like men, trying to be like men, certified G's, allegedly, and all of that shit. And without ever even giving him a tag team run, without even giving him really a truly big WrestleMania moment, we just sit there and split him up. For what? Like, where's the interest in even really seeing an Enzo Amore and a Big Cass even feud? We know how the hell that's going to go, and you're probably going to have to use Big Show as kind of a surrogate to even make this shit go. I understand at some point in time that you were going to split off Big Cass and put him on a singles run and let him sink or swim that way. But Jesus Christ, for all the people that think Roman Reigns is boring, i got news for you. Big Cass is boring as bricks, and don't sit there and let that one promo on Raw where he caught lightning in a fucking bottle fool you. This dude's got a long, long way to go. He's ganja green, okay? You would get the message? Greener than goose shit. Hashtag White Roman. That's exactly what the hell he is. Hashtag White Roman in the seven-foot package, if you know what I mean. And I'm not trying to gun on Big Cass too much, but... You know, to me, the primary appeal was him and Enzo Amore together. It was one of the few things that I had. And the WWE ripped my heart out and took it away from me. They did it. And I'm not going to let them off the hook. Because you just ran to this way too damn soon. Now, if part of the th philosophy here is we want to build up cast quickly. Because long term, we need future opponents for Roman Reigns, Braun Strowman, Brock Lesnar, Samoa Joe, guys like that. I get it. But why end a popular act when you didn't need to? Why end a popular act when you still had mileage to go with it? I could see if the audience wasn't reacting really well to these guys. I could see if the audience was starting to turn on these guys. But they were becoming kind of indifferent to these guys. See, the New Day. Then you get to that point in time, that is where you start to think about splitting a team up. Because you don't want to get it to the point 
where you get the wrong type of reaction, where you ruin the team forever, because someday you want to be able to bring them back together, and ta-da, we get a little bit of a nostalgia pop, and you make some more money that way. Now, granted, if you ever bring back Enzo and Big Cass together, you'll get some nostalgia pop, and you'll make some money, but there was more money to be made here and now. What the hell has Big Cass shown you on a consistent basis that Mara said he's in a need where if he doesn't break off from Enzo Amore, it's going to stifle his career. Like, this just makes no sense to me. And ultimately, it's their company. They can do whatever the hell they want. That's fine. But damn it all. I'm one of those people that's trying to sit through three hours of Raw every Monday night. And Enzo and Big Cass together does a whole hell of a lot more to help me get through three hours than Enzo and Cass apart. Enzo and Cass feuding. I don't care how good Enzo is with his triggered tears. I don't care how good of one heel promo Big Cass cut. This was just way too damn soon. Leave it to the WWE to sabotage one of the few things that they had that was going well that they didn't need to. Leave it to WWE to sabotage one of the few things that had some mileage left on it. I could see if you had already given them a big WrestleMania moment, already given them a tag team title run, put them in a program with the Hardy Boys and stuff, stuff like that. Then at that point in time, I'd say, you know what, you've kind of run the gamut, even if you can get more mileage out of it. If you don't have to, then don't do it. Let's go ahead and break it off now where everybody can feel good about it. But the thing is, you didn't even go the distance with this. I sound like a damn Disney song. I can go anywhere. I can go the distance. We didn't even go the damn distance with this. We barely got the first base if second base with this damn gimmick, this damn team. And it's, just, it's just so frustrating for me as a fan. WWE, you cruel, sick bastards. This is one of the few acts that I had on Raw that I enjoyed, that I wasn't getting tired of, that wasn't old, that I wanted to see more of. What the hell are you going to do now? And then you think about it. Enzo being aligned with Cass was a, an excuse to utilize Enzo properly, which means as far away from matches and being a big workhorse in matches as you could possibly get him. So what are you going to do with him now? Going to put him on the commentary table? Going to put him in the cruiserweight division? Maybe. Are you going to sit there and have him become a manager? Are you just going to align him with Big Show? If that's the case, then why the fuck did you bother doing that at this point in time? Knowing that you don't believe in managers long term, so it's going to be a short ride. Knowing commentary-wise where the hell would Enzo Amore fit, nor why would you want to put him in that position at this point in time. Furthermore, what are you going to do? Discard him off to the cruiserweights? Nobody gives a fuck about that division, including the company at this point. Just because you can end a team doesn't mean you should. Just because you can launch one of the guys off on a singles push doesn't mean he's ready for it. And again, doesn't mean you should. I could whip out little Schleggy here for educational purposes, but that doesn't mean that I should. I could sit there and pick my nose and eat the snot and talk about, mmm, boogie's good in the belly. But ultimately, it doesn't mean that I should. I could. And don't you fucking say that I would. But it doesn't mean that we should. WWE got me worked up about this. And just be fuddled about this. Why? 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 Why WWE? Why you break up Kaz and Enzo when they had more mileage in the tank? Why break up? One of the few interesting acts you have where they're together to do something that will inevitably be lame with them going against each other. I don't get it. Leave it to the WWE of today to intentionally sabotage acts that actually get over because, oh, <laughs> you know, I don't even think they know just because they fucking want to. And like I said, maybe it is because they want to build up Cass into a future opponent for guys like Reigns and Strowman and Lesnar. And if that's the end game here, then so be it. But if they are, then they better go hog shit crazy and forcing them down people's throats to make that happen. What you don't want it to be is some type of Luke Harper type of fuck. Because otherwise, why the hell did you do it? These guys didn't even win the tag titles. They at least merited that. They deserved that. They had earned that. And by God, I think myself and a lot of other people would have liked to seen it. 
I don't want to see these two guys fighting each other and arguing with each other right now. I want to see these two guys as the tag champions. This was stupid. I don't give a damn. It was dumb. Why, WWE? Why?